a way that a man can show his gratitude and treat his woman like a princess, if you want to use those words, doesn't have to be let's go out every single weekend. I will ask him straight up, yo, why are going for this? If you're stuttering like English is your fifth language, then there's clearly a problem. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's a vibe and we're back in another building in another gaff. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I upload fun content if you're looking for a laugh, if you're looking for advice, if you're looking for a vibe, you're in the right place. So basically, today, today, I'm doing something a bit different. I have been watching Blue Therapy, I feel like everybody in the UK has just really been watching this new show. It's a new show that's on YouTube. And it's like a therapy session, you know, couples come in, they talk about their problems. And I'm single, so I thought I would fast up myself and give my mediocre advice. First of all, I did not want to watch it, I rebuked it. I said, I'm not going to listen to such foolery. But then I watched episode one. Why don't I just talk to my subscribers and talk to, like, the masses? Because I want to hear other people's opinions. We're all different, we all have different views. So be respectful, but, you know, try and understand where I'm coming from. So without further ado, let's begin. I went out with my girls mm -hmm. we went to the club mm -hmm. and i was having fun i was nah. dancing <laughs> i was having that's fun. what they call it now <laughs> i was having fun and i was dancing um i wasn't twerking or anything like ah, that but twerking? i was dancing see, see? i was dancing he says i was twerking that's why i'm when, that's the only reason that's i didn't see it. did i did i mention twerking you didn't need to mention it now but that's your point right babe because you've, you've spoken to me about this you mentioned twerking. i didn't times. mention twerking Denise, okay. i was dancing with my knees bent let's just say that my friend was recording the environment and I was in that video for one second or less than that, okay? I didn't post it onto my page because I know how my man is. Um, I'm not ready to go home and argue. I don't want any conflict. At the end of the day, I don't want anything. Um, I wasn't dancing on a man and I wasn't over-sexualizing myself. I was having fun. He now has an issue with that. Why? Okay, so the first like thing I want to talk about is like social media and relationships. I think social media nowadays is playing such a big part in relationships. And obviously every single relationship is different. Before, I was definitely somebody who was like, I don't really care like what's on social media, like what you do. As long as I'm feeling the love and you know, you're here with me, like that shouldn't be an issue. But now social media is changing where you are your social media. I don't like the fact that we are consumed and like our social media platform defines us. I'm a dancer and a lot of my jobs now that I get like especially like music videos and stuff like that will be through social media. So people will go on my page and then they're like, this is Isabel, let me see if I want to book her or not kind of thing. So social media is very much like a heavy part of our life. My views are, if you trust somebody and you know your girl or you know your guy, like you know that you can see a video and cool, it might look a bit mad, but you know when you speak to them, the answer that they give to you, as long as it makes sense, it shouldn't be a problem. Someone's taking a snap and it looks like I'm bending over about to whine on somebody, and obviously I'm in a relationship, and it looks very sketchy. First of all, don't come at me yelling and screaming because that's not what we're about to do. You should know how your woman or how your man respects you, and then you would know how to come to them accordingly. So if he was like, rah, you know, I can't lie, I saw something, it wasn't something that I liked what was going on here and I'm here oops, oops, start, and then I get defensive straight away then obviously there, there's an issue there because if it wasn't a problem I should be able to calmly answer the question same way if my man is out and I'm seeing a few female species which is not me and it's looking compromising I will ask him straight up yo why are going for this if you're stuttering like English is your fifth language then there's clearly a problem if she explains it and she's calm you shouldn't have an issue with that and if you have an issue with that me personally in my opinion I feel like there is some sort like some sort of insecurity or some sort of projection of like if it was the other way around would could I say that I would have been so innocent and also I feel like we have to understand the story she was out with all females she wasn't dancing on a guy there's not a guy in sight according to the thingy she wasn't dancing on nobody even if she was whining her waist and twerking if she's with her girls and having a good time and that's what she wants to do and that's how she has fun there shouldn't be a problem with that. Now, if, you know, I'm trying to garner attention from the opposite sex, then I understand that. 
But if it's just me out with my girls and I'm dancing and I bend my legs and, you know, my body jiggles a little bit because it's pretty pun any side, then it shouldn't be an issue. I feel like now when you get into a relationship, you have to sit down and talk to some, like, talk to each other because in this day and age, it's not so clear what people's expectations and standards are. So I feel like you need to have a conversation, see if you want the same things, make an agreement and understand what your boundaries are. And that way, if someone oversteps those boundaries, you can come and, and question them. But then also, if you're gonna go question someone, you need to be able to accept the answer that they give you. Like, don't come and make a ruckus just to make a ruckus. Like, if you want answers, you want answers. If you want to just yell at somebody, then you need to sort yourself out because that's not how you, you solve problems. But anyway, moving on. Okay, I got a Gucci bag. As soon as, like, probably like, what, two weeks, she was talking about, oh, let's go to Greece for our birthday and stuff. I was thinking, I've just literally got an expensive gift. Can't you just like wait? Why can't we do both? Yeah, we can do both, but times have changed. Like I'm looking to buy a house. Uh, I've got a project in Ghana. I'm obviously sorting out. Obviously got a new project I'm even doing, a health retreat as well, which obviously costs a lot of money. Every female in a relationship should be treated like a princess. And that is the standard that I have set. And that is the standard that we set as females. Any guy that can't take their girl out regularly, buy her gifts and attend to her needs, you're not ready to be in a relationship. Take a break, decide what you want to do, get your money up and then we go again. I could waffle so long and forever about this topic so I'm going to try and keep it brief but you know, it's a waffle now. I understand where she's coming from and there are some points that I would agree with but the whole basis is just, it's a no from me. As females, before we even get in a relationship or before, we have our picture of what kind of man we would like. We have this picture of what kind of person we would want in our life. And then we have things that we will accept and things we will not accept. Those are standards. There are some people who would be like, I can never be with a smoker. There are some people who do not care. But I felt like what she said was literally one-sided. It is what it is for, and that's how it is for everybody. And it's really not. She said, every woman deserves to be treated like a princess. If every girl is meant to be treated like a princess, what is your man meant to be treated like? Because I would want somebody who's on the same level as me. If you're treating me like a princess, I want a prince. So I think we have to think about it both ways. Now, even forget about that. Just let that fly away, okay? The definition of what you believe and what you feel to be treated like a princess is gonna vary from every single person, even on the basis level of love languages. For her, it's very clear that gifts is at the top. For me, gifts is more towards the bottom, if anything. That's already how people differ, and it varies from every single person. Now, what we have to understand, the basis of a relationship, and what, to me, to me, to me, once again, to me, what is important is love, respect, trust, building a foundation to build a family, a legacy. A way that a man can show his gratitude and treat his woman like a princess, if you want to use those words, doesn't have to be, let's go out every single weekend, let's go on trips, let's buy designer stuff. That, that doesn't have to be the way. I think one thing for me that plays into part is obviously where I am in my life. I'm a uni student. I am not expecting one man to come and shower me with gifts and be taking me places and buying me designer. Age plays a big part into that. Obviously, the older you get and you meet men, there'll be different things that you look for. Right now, I'm not thinking too much about what job my man has. Of course, I'd want to know what his ambitions were or what he wants to do. Whereas somebody who's gonna, who's 23, 24, they may start, they're gonna be thinking about that more because they're trying to build a life. So already, I don't agree with the fact of he needs to take you out and he needs to shower you with gifts and if he can't do that, he shouldn't be in a relationship. He can show you that he cares and he can be so attentive to you without having to do those things. Now, if he is somebody who can afford that, then of course there shall be some type of expectation. Two things, if he can afford that lifestyle and two, if that is how he brought you in and that's how he showed his affection to begin with, then yeah, there should be some type of expectation. And then the other point I wanted to make really quickly is it's not like he's making all this money or he's making money and he's just spending it on himself or he's going out with the boys and partying it up and doing like he's saving up for a house he's got a project in ghana like there are things that he's doing for his future which he believes that you are going to be there 
So if, I don't understand what her issue is. I don't. If you understand or if you, you know, disagree with me, respectfully let me know in the comments. He bought you a designer bag and then a week later you want to go to Greece. And his response is, we'll go to Greece but just not right now. And you're angry or you feel like, no, I should go right now. I don't understand why you should have a problem with that because he's building for the future and the future he believes he's going to have with you so i don't understand that i don't agree with that at all personally the reason why i think what she said was dangerous was because the audience demographic which probably ranges from 16 to 25 but especially between 18 to 22 that demographic are watching it and a lot of girls i think are beginning to care more about the materialistic values and things and that's what they will base their relationship on and they will look at all these celebrities and these men are buying them all of these gifts more time he's buying her gifts because he's cheating on her and not cheating her right but that's a discussion for another day well growing up in this mindset of i want all these materialistic things if he doesn't buy me things if he can't get me things then he doesn't care or he doesn't deserve me and it's like if he's showing you in other ways which take time, which take effort, which isn't just something that you can do with anybody. For me, that means something. That means a lot more to me. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think, what your views are. If you like me doing like these reactions, um, but it's like actually me talking, giving my views. So guys, we've come to the end of the video and as always, I enjoyed filming it. So if I enjoyed filming it, you enjoyed watching it, so give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what other videos you'd like to see. And if I do film your video, you will be getting your own personal shout out. Share this video with at least one person because if you ordered that, we'd be past the goal of 1K onto our new goal of 10K. Be. Follow me on my social media, it's down below for daily updates, another look into my life and to submit your questions for my random talk series. If you don't know what I'm talking about, click over there and it will explain everything you need to know about that series. While you're at it, also go and watch my last video, it's also right over there. As always, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! One I don't bleed from Monday to Sunday. The man see one day. I don't bleed from Monday to Sunday.